Important part of Italian literature to, to be approached by uh, an international public. So thank you very much, and I pass the word to Joseph Farrow, who will give us the scholarly introduction. Thank you very much. Okay, I don't know about the scholarly, but in any case, my task tonight is very modest and very humble. That makes me sound a bit like Uriah Heep, but what I mean is that I'm almost doing the warm up act for the performance which will follow from uh, Mario Piroffano, which you will enjoy, I promise you. Um, my book that's supposed to be out has been put back to March, I don't know why. What am I going to do tonight? Well, I'm going to offer a later set, uh, sorry, an assessment of some of Dario Fo's later works. I want to talk then a little. Francis is striding out on the road to Gubbio to meet his companions when all of a sudden he sees some peasants screaming on the other side of the alley Hey! Run away! Everyone for himself! Run away! A monster is here! What's happening? Francis asked. Who are you? Who is after you? And there is the wolf. Francis, the wolf, a beast, a giant beast. He's a lion. Oh, a lion. Don't exaggerate. Well, I don't know much about them. When Look with that face, with those eyes, those fangs. He has already beaten a dogs, made women and children running away from the field. Oh, when he looks at you with his tremendous eyes, he makes your blood curdle. Oh, you don't know anything about lions, what we crocodiles. You are part of the family, eh? Listen, where is this wolf? Where is this beast there, Francis? There, he's coming down from the hill. But it's only small. It's a matter of perspective. <laughs> Wait till he gets near, you'll see. No, says Francis. I'd like to go and meet him. It's for Francis' brother's trying to stop him. Stop him, Francis. You are out of your mind. What's got into your mind? What's the matter with you? This morning you strip off naked in the church. Then you embrace lepers. Now you want to talk to wolves. Why don't you write in the letter instead? No. I'd like to speak to him personally. And Francis goes down the hill. Meanwhile, all the people, peasants, shepherds, women, children, they're all going up the ridge as if they were at the theater. And they're looking down from the amp ahead around him. The wolf appears. He's coming down slowly and he's walking, he's approaching. Francis walks towards him and the peasants and the shepherds and the women already betting. Now watch. As soon as the wolf gets closer to Francis, he will jump on devouring. They start betting about this. The wolf is coming down slowly. When he's quite of a distance, Francis exclaims, Good heavens, how big it is. Look at those eyes and those fangs. Oh, it really looks like a lion. I might just write the letter and ciao. <laughs> the wolf is coming slowly. He's approaching. He's slowly coming closer to Francis. Francis, when he's right there, in front of Francis, on the the wolf slowly crouches down on his paws, like a farm dog, bend his head and rest his jaws between Francis' feet. And Francis begin, begins to, uh, to talk to the wolf. So then, wolf, what's the matter with you? Huh? Do you think it's nice things that these things that you're going around doing, biting dogs?